Hello. Now we will discuss why mobility of electron is more than mobility of hole. That is simply we are going to discuss why mu n is greater than mu p. So we know the energy band diagram of semiconductor and energy band of semiconductor is drawn energies on the y axis and energy means discrete energy levels that is one energy is discrete in nature so that we are going with energy levels energy levels are discrete in nature so first of all electron electron means simply it is by default it is free electron free electron electron in conduction band is called as free electron okay electron in valence band electron in valence band is called as valence electron or bound electron so the meaning is electron in conduction band means occupied energy level is called as free electron if energy level is occupied by electron in conduction band that means a free electron is present similarly if an electron is present in the valence band that is a valence electron is present okay if electron occupies the energy level in valence band that is treated as valence electron if electron occupies the energy level in conduction band that is free electron okay and now hole means the meaning of hole means vacancy in valence band vacancy in valence band is called as hole vacancy means empty energy level if electron moves from valence band to conduction band that particular energy level which was it which it occupies previously will become free now that is vacant vacant energy level or empty energy level empty energy level in valence band is called as hole empty energy level in valence band is hole filled energy level in valence band is valence electron filled energy level in conduction band is free electron okay now we will see what is meant by movement of free electron movement of hole okay movement of free electron is nothing but movement of electrons in conduction band whereas movement of hole movement of hole means hole means empty energy level it cannot move by itself but whenever valence electrons are moving then it looks like hole is moving in opposite direction okay hole is treated as empty energy level empty energy level cannot move by itself but as the valence electrons are occupying this energy level okay as the valence electrons are moving in valence band then it looks like this empty level energy level is moving in opposite direction so movement of hole is directly proportional to movement of movement of valence electrons valence electrons movement of free electrons is nothing but current related to electron mobility movement of valence are related to hole mobility so movement of valence electrons are related to hole mobility mu p movement of free electrons movement of free electrons are related to electron mobility now we will see why mu n is greater than mu p because first you must understand what is meant by electron what is meant by a hole then only you can proceed why mu n is greater than mu p okay. say for example assume 100 energy levels 100 energy levels are present in valence band as well as conduction band we assume that 100 energy levels are present in conduction band 100 energy levels are present in the valence band so at t is equal to 0 degree kelvin as you are not applying any thermal energy 0 degree kelvin means absolute room temperature where you are not applying any energy by that time valence band is full and conduction band is empty this is the case you will get at t is equal to 0 degree kelvin that means okay all energy levels all energy levels are occupied are occupied by electrons in valence band valence band full means all energy levels that is 100 energy levels are occupied 
no empty energy level is present so 100 energy levels are filled zero empty energy levels are available and in conduction band okay empty empty means 100 energy levels are empty 100 energy levels are empty so previously 100 energy levels are filled in valence band and in conduction band 100 energy levels are empty now let us assume as the temperature is increased say room temperature so 10 electrons got excited so 10 covalent bonds are broken we are assuming so the 10 electrons are moving from valence band to conduction band 10 electrons move from move from valence band to conduction band so now what happens now valence band will be consisting of valence band will be consisting of 10 empty energy levels that is 10 vacancies and 90 filled energy levels 90 filled energy levels whereas conduction band consisting of 10 filled energy levels okay whereas 90 vacancies filled energy levels are nothing but electrons are present that means 90 electrons are there but only 10 empty levels are there 10 vacancies are present in valence band whereas 10 filled energy levels that is 10 electrons are present in conduction band but 90 vacancies are there so vacancies are more in conduction band than the persons present okay whereas in valence band persons present is more that is 90 electrons are there but 10 vacancies are there okay so if you are going to check about vacancies is nothing but jobs and electrons are nothing but job aspirants okay so job seekers are more in valence band but jobs are less so the probability of getting a job is very small that is movement is going to be very small and here jobs are more and the persons are less so definitely everybody gets job that means movement is more so because of this nature okay electron movement is going to be greater than pole movement simply we can say in conduction band you will find only free electrons but in valence band you will find valence electrons along with few empty energy levels which are nothing but holes so that <coughs> traffic in conduction band is less and traffic in valence band is more so that mobility is more in conduction band than valence band okay. thank you